I was editing the vlog. I know this is the start of the vlog for you, but I was editing the vlog, and you'll see me in this outfit later in the vlog, but um, I had a seven minute clip of me talking about the Golden Globes because I was so excited about it right after and I wanted to talk to you guys about it, but it was very lengthy. So I'm gonna cut that down. I do, I do still wanna talk about it because I am movie obsessed. Um, I don't know if that many of you know this, but movies, are like life to me. I love music and music is amazing, but movies bring me so much joy and I'm just in love with the Golden Globes, with the Oscars, with the Emmys. I love all of that. And that's probably evident to some because I talk about you know movies and shows quite often here on my channel. But watching the Golden Globes, I watched it with Mama B. I was just in heaven because so many of my favorites won. Um, Alexander Skarsgård won for Big Little Lies, as well as Nicole Kidman. I really wanted Reese Witherspoon to win, but I still was happy for Nicole. I was really, really excited for Alexander. If you've been here on my channel for a while, you know I'm in love with him. Literally in love with him. I was so happy for him. And yeah. I am here tonight because I had a privilege of working with a group of extraordinarily talented women. Most of them are in this room tonight. Leanne, who wrote the novel, thank you. And Bruno also, Marvelous Miss Maisel won for Best Comedy Series. If you haven't seen it, you must go see it on Amazon Prime. It's only eight episodes, I believe, for the first season, and it's so funny, and the actress won as well that plays um, Miss Maisel on it, and it's so good. You must see it. Also, The Shape of Water and The Three Billboards to Something Missouri, I forget the name of it, um, won a few awards, and I hadn't seen the, those two movies. I had seen I, Tanya, which I really like. If you haven't seen I, Tanya, you definitely see that. I was sad Margot Robbie didn't win, but the actress that plays her mom did, so that was pretty cool. Um, so I've seen I, Tanya. I've seen Greatest Showman, which they did win for one of the best songs, which they deserve that so much. Um, I was really sad Hugh Jackman didn't win because I don't think you guys understand the level of love I have for this new movie, The Greatest Showman. It's incredible. It has such a wonderful message behind it and I think that's why I love it too. And all the music is so inspiring and beautiful and it's just so beautifully done. I've seen it three times now, I'm not joking. And I would see it five times more. I can't wait till it comes out on DVD so I can watch it every day if I want to. Um, so anyways, I digress. I watched The Shape of Water and I also think it's a beautiful film. Um, not as great as The Greatest Showman though. <laughs> but The Shape of Water is, there's just a really subtle beauty to it. Um, and the actress that is mute in the movie, like she, she's, she plays, like she acts really, really well. Like she did a great job in that movie. And there's just something unique about it. I do really like it. Um, I also watched the three billboards to something Missouri. I can't remember the name of the Missouri city. I don't get it. Sometimes there's movies that get nominated for Oscars or Golden Globes and I watch them and I'm like, why? And that's this movie. It is getting so many awards. Like the Critics' Choice Awards were just this week too. For some reason, they don't ever put the Critics' Choice on TV, do they? I don't know if they do or not because I didn't get to watch it. Um, but that movie is is pretty much killing it and I don't get it. That's all right, I just, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't see why the acting people think is so spectacular, but I felt the same way about um, Manchester by the Sea last year that won a ton of awards. Mama B and I watched it and it was the most depressing. I did not like it. <laughs> and the acting was all right, but I, again, I didn't think it was like mind blowing. But you can't I agree with everything. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to talk about that. And then, oh my gosh, 34 minutes. I'm trying to make this under five minutes. But I also wanted to say, Oprah's speech was super inspiring. I absolutely love her. I wish that I could like go to a conference of hers or like have her speak for hours and just listen because I feel like she's so knowledgeable and she's just a powerhouse and I love her. Sterling K. Brown, I absolutely adore him. He won for This Is Us and I was so happy and excited for him as well. He's my favorite character in This Is Us and I think he is an amazing actor and I love him. Um, and the women wearing all black. Now, see, when I talked about this on Sunday, I was super excited about it and I thought, wow, like women standing up together, empowering each other, wearing black to take a, take a stand, and they, the women all wore black to, to kind of put a message out there. And 
um, the men supporting them too, like Alexander Skarsgård, I showed a clip of him, but he was wearing a pin um, in support of them as well. And I personally don't take offense to people talking about it because I feel like when you have a, a platform, you feel like you need to speak out. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, we watch the Golden Globes and the Oscars because we want an escape and we don't want to hear about all that stuff, but I get why they also felt the need to speak about it, and I'm for it. I'm for women standing together, and I'm for them speaking out if they feel the need to, and I understand why some people might not like that as much and not be offended by it, but not want to see it. And that's fine. You know, you have that decision to turn off the Golden Globes if you don't want to watch that. But I was actually inspired by that and um, was happy to see women standing together because that doesn't happen enough, supporting each other. The big plus to cleaning out your closet, you find shirts you haven't worn in a while. Look how cute this shirt is on my way to work. Also, I changed into one of my coach purses that I've had for years, but and I've kept in really great condition, but just don't wear very often anymore. I have my hair in a high bun again today. And yeah, that's pretty much it, off to work. Hey guys, so it's my lunch break, and I just wanna say that when I don't meal prep, it's gonna be extremely difficult. Like I have to meal prep being vegetarian because there's just not a lot of options for quick eating. Like I can go and get a salad somewhere, like sit down and get a salad or get Chipotle and stuff like that. But I had to run errands. Like I had to go to the post office and drop off some packages from selling some stuff on Poshmark. And anyways, so I ended up getting an egg and cheese <clears throat> egg McMuffin from McDonald's and a Diet Coke. I know I'm trying to limit Diet Coke and I'm drinking a Diet Coke today. Sue me. <laughs> I said limit, not eliminate. Um, but obviously egg and cheese is not vegan, but right now I'm pescatarian. So it wasn't, it was an option. No meat on it, just egg and cheese. Anyways, I came on here to mention my lip color cause I know someone's going to ask. And I think I was wearing this two vlogs ago and I'm pretty sure I messed up and said the wrong NARS color. I'm so sorry if you're the one, one of the ones that asked me and I responded, I totally effed up and gave you the wrong name, I'm pretty sure. So this is the little sample I have of this beautiful NARS lip color. I did mention it in the last vlog, I think, as well. But this is called the Velvet, the Velvet Lip, oh my gosh. Why is it so hard? Velvet Lip Glide in Bound. And it's such a beautiful shade. I whitened my teeth last night. Can you tell? <laughs> That's so weird to even like smile like that. But I just feel like my teeth are not looking their whitest. I feel like I need to do like three days back to back of white strips. Because I usually will only do one a month. Anyways, nobody cares. <laughs> I'm gonna head back to work now, but I just wanted to check in with you guys. Hey guys, I'm on my lunch break right now. I just wanted to show you the lip I have on today is um, the Huda Beauty Bombshell Liquid Lip. It's so pretty. And I have kind of like a smokier, bronzy eye on today. And I have my little shawl kind of thing on today. My coach purse over there. And I need to run to the post office to mail off some more Poshmark um, sales. I'm so excited that a lot of you are really into what I put on there. I still have a ton more stuff. And then I'm going to go grab some, like a refresher from Starbucks probably. And then the doctor I work for is buying us pizza for lunch. So going to have some margarita yummy, yummy pizza. So I just got done filming my empties for you guys. I'm a little behind on that. I'm feeling much better today, by the way. Thank you guys for all your good vibes and prayers. Have the same lip combo. I have Bombshell from um, Huda Beauty, the liquid lipstick, and then a little bit of Peach the Cool Gloss from Too Faced, their glosses from the Peach line. I'm gonna love this combo for summer too. I'm trying to use different lipsticks every day. <laughs> so you will see me wearing different lipsticks all the time now. So I'm really trying to use my collection and I definitely need to do, after I'm done decluttering my bedroom, like my jewelry I still have to get to and my sweaters, once I'm done with that, then I'm gonna attack my skincare and makeup backstock again this year. 
I did some good decluttering last year, but I may, I may need to do another one this year. Really start using products that I love and get rid of the ones that I'm never using. So yeah. So currently this is what my smaller closet looks like. <laughs> looks like, look how many hangers I have, you guys. Insane. And I'm pretty sure I showed you this. I probably added a few more that were in the wrong closet because that closet I just have all like summer and dresses. So these are all my like longer shirts and stuff. So there's this closet. So I have all like my robes right here, up to here. And then my dresses, It's it probably doesn't seem that decluttered, but believe me, it is. And then I have just like my little tank shirts and some like work shirts right here and then t-shirts. And then down here I have just a very small amount of skirts. All my jeans, I had more room so I was able to hang up my jeans. And then all my workout gear. So yeah, I definitely made a lot more space and I'm really happy with it. Um, I definitely see the these dresses getting cleared out a lot more throughout this year, but a lot of them are summer dresses that I haven't worn, so I'd really like to, you know, use them. And same thing with these like kind of tank more tops. Um, I haven't really worn them that much, and so I would like to get some use out of them before doing some more decluttering, but so far I'm really happy with how it's looking. And I just have a dress hung up right here that I really want to wear this year at some point. Um, it's from the Lauren Conrad collection. And then I have like my fuzzy jacket on the, on the, um, hanging up on my closet here. I almost just killed myself tripping on these. So I have two big boxes of sweaters that I need to go through. So that's my next declutter task. So today I went to Target for work because I needed to pick some up, some things up for my work and then I did a teeny bit of shopping for myself on my own separate cart, of course. So I found the chocolate hazelnut Oreos and the hot and spicy cinnamon Oreos that are cinnamon candy flavored cream. And these are both limited edition for Valentine's Day, so I am so excited to try these with Mama Bee. And then I found this beautiful jar from the Bullseye Spot. It's $3. Isn't it so pretty? They also come in white and has that little gold heart. I had a store credit um, for $25. I still have more that I get to use, but um, that's why I got these items and didn't feel guilty about it. And then I also got a package from Hourglass in the mail. I've actually never tried their brow pencil, too. I think they sent me two of their arch brow as well as the Archibald Shaping Gel Volumizing Fiber Gel. And this is the Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. So yay, thank you so much, Hourglass. I'm so excited to try. Warm brunettes, okay, yay. Um, since I don't have Gimme Brow right now because someone stupidly put it on their eyelashes. Sorry, if you're watching and you're the one that did that, it's pretty stupid. It's called Gimme brow, B-R-O-W, not lashes. <laughs> but they had to take it off the shelves because I don't know if they're gonna reformulate or what, so I'm excited to try something else for a change. So, excuse if there's any weird shadowing on my face because it's really early in the morning. Um, I just went and got my coffee and they have red cup still at the Albertsons Starbucks that's by my work. And oh my gosh, I'm loving my lip combo today. Oh, it's a MAC lipstick with my peach gloss that I'm loving from Too Faced. I'll have to show you guys later. Then I mixed highlights today. I used a Makeup Forever one and then my Dior one that I always use. It's so pretty. I love highlights so much, but I don't know why I came on here. I just want to say hi. Oh, I remember why. Starbucks has these really cute Valentine's tumblers right now. I resisted, but I did film them for you so you can see how cute they are. And I put them on Snapchat too. <laughs> I said, I'm so tempted, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, but they're so cute.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to mom. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. Making a good one. We got grandpa over here, too. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready for to go to dinner with my friend Olivia. We haven't seen each other in a while, so I'm really excited to see her. I still have to do my hair and get dressed, but I wanted to show you guys, I'm using this Bye Bye Lions Foundation from It Cosmetics for the first time in Shade Fair. Let me turn off this lighting a little bit. I don't know what I think about it yet. It wasn't like crazy coverage. I had to do two layers with a beauty blender. Um, the finish is really nice, I think. But I just don't know. My lip combo. I'm going to try to share my lip combo every single day with you guys because so many of you have been asking me what's on your lips, what's on your lips. And apparently I'm not doing a good enough job sharing that, so I'm really sorry. So today I'm wearing the Buxom Lip Crayon in White Russian. And then I have this gloss on top from MAC in the shade flare for finery which unfortunately i believe was limited edition but if you wear white russian gloss over the type top of white russian lip pencil both from buxom that is an amazing combo i just had that in my purse and i was too lazy so i i grabbed this um for my highlights um this is the same highlight i used yesterday i've been combining this dior one in shade one is the Air Luminizer, and the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Highlights in shade two. This one's a little too dark for me, so I like combining them. Very glowy today. <laughs> All right, I need to hurry up and do my hair and get dressed so I can get going. So ignore the clothes on the bed and the unmade bed. <laughs> but I am wearing like the, I, you guys have seen this, I got at Charlotte Russe, both the bralette, because see how it's kind of like, cropped there and the little like shirt dress thing is from Charlotte Russe so girly I love it I've worn this maybe this is like my maybe my fourth time third or fourth time wearing it out I wore it on my birthday last year and I absolutely love it and today though I wore this in the summer last time I think the last two times I've worn it was in the summer this is my first time wearing it in the winter it's not really winter here in Arizona um but I put leggings and boots on with it and I think it looks really cute with boots I've never worn like taller boots with it and I really like it. And I'm kind of really into these earrings right now. It's the second time I've worn them this week. And yeah, I just felt in the mood to be super girly. So I'm home now and this mascara came in and I tried it right away because I was so excited. By the way, I added a little bit of a cat eye liner earlier before I left. I haven't done a cat eye liner in forever. So I just tried, this lighting is kind of harsh. I just tried out this mascara over, over the top of my other mascara, but it is so nice and I'm so excited. It's the Maybelline Total Temptation. First of all, I love this like peachy pink packaging. It's like a matte. And I know there's a ton of new drugstore makeup coming out right now, but I'm trying to be really, really good and not buy any makeup right now. And it's very, very difficult because I obviously want to review things for you guys, but I also need to save up money for my trip and I need to save money in general. Um, so that's why I get even more excited when I get products sent to me because then I can try it and, you know, see what I think and not necessarily have to buy every single thing that comes out. But this mascara has a natural bristle wand, which I was so excited about when I opened it up and it definitely gives like length and volume. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'll be wearing it again tomorrow to see how it is, um, without the other mascara underneath of it, underneath it. I can't speak English right now apparently, but I wanted to show you that really quick. I also got my new Ellie fitness wear in, like the Ellie box that came in today. And I got something from, not Octilly, from Ofra Cosmetics. I got my BoxyCharm, I got an e.l.f. package. But I think I'll show you that in next week's vlog because this vlog is getting a little lengthy. But what I wanna share with you is me and Olivia did our Christmas gift exchange. 
a little late, but better than never. And I want to show you what she got for me. Some really fun goodies from Anthropology, which I love Anthropology. So here are my beautiful goodies. So the first thing is this really pretty passport holder and it kind of has like a faux fur all the way around and you just flip this up here and put your passport in there. How beautiful is that? That was super thoughtful. And then she got me some salt soap for the bath by Mer Merci, always by the sea. And this is also from that same company. Isn't this beautiful? And this is a sugar scrub, coconut sugar. I just noticed that. These beautiful earrings. Look at those. Those definitely scream Melissa and it came in this really beautiful little pouch and then a candle. I love the coloring. I think it's perfect for my bedroom and it smells delicious. It smells like a beautiful perfume and it's called Ivory Primrose is the name of the candle. So thank you so much, Olivia. If you are watching, I already told her in person, obviously, but I just thought I'd share with you guys too. You guys know that you are jealous of my PJs. Look how stinking cute. <laughs> I don't remember where I got them. I found them though and they're so soft. Man, these little hearts. Pretty sure might have got them at Kohl's. They're super warm and soft though. Okay, excuse the lighting in the background. <laughs> um, so I decided to try out the It Cosmetics Foundation again today because I did actually think it looked really nice on my skin. Um, I only wore it for about four hours, five hours yesterday. I didn't see it breaking up on my skin at all. I didn't see any overly glowy spots on my skin using it. Um, this is the Bye Bye Lines foundation from them. So today I applied it with this sponge from Juno. Juno Fusion Sponge, it's called. Do you see how it has like almost like a velvety look to that? Um, I used this side only and then I used this to sculpt out my contour with powder today. Actually, I need to blend this a little bit more. For some reason, one side of my contour always looks better than the other. So annoying. <laughs> Same thing with brows. Um, on my lips today, as I told you guys, I am trying to use like a new lip product every single day in my collection. This is the Marc Jacobs. These are their liquid lips in Fawn Over Me, the Lamarck Liquid Lip Creme in Fawn Over Me. That is what is on my lips. On my cheeks, I mean, I have this, I've been wearing the same blush over and over and over for months now. It's the Laura Geller blush in Bora Bora. And just look at this. Like, it was raised very significantly, but I still have so much. This just shows you. You do not need a million blushes and a million bronzers and a million highlights because you will never get through them. <laughs> you will never get through them. This is a gorgeous glowy though, very glowy coral pink blush, which is my favorite kind of blush color. What else? Um, the highlight I have on is the Dior. What else is new? I'm obsessed with that highlight and bronzer and my contour was Merle Norman. And oh, on my eyes, I'm using that Treasure Gold palette from Bare Minerals. I wore that yesterday as well. And I have a little cat liner again on. Can you see it? Can you see it? And then the mascara, I am wearing that Maybelline mascara. And then I kind of curled my lashes after. But yeah, I'm wearing this Total, what's it called? Total Temptation mascara on my eyes as well. So far, I like ye. We'll see how it does throughout the day. And I didn't even tell you what I'm doing today. I'm going to a, like a farmer's market kind of thing with a couple of my girlfriends from work. So they're gonna come over at like nine o'clock, which is in about 15 minutes. I better get going. All right, guys, this is what I'm wearing today. You've seen this outfit? All right, guys, the girls just got here. We're having some mimosas. <laughs> the girls. It's a quick one. <laughs>
I just filmed my Beautylish Lucky Bag unboxing. It just came in the mail, and I wanted to film it right away and get it up for you guys. If you're wondering what's on my lips, it's something I got in my Lucky Bag, and you'll have to watch that video to see what it is. I'm probably gonna even have it, I'm either gonna try and get it up today, which is Saturday, or I'm gonna post it on Monday, the day after the vlog goes up. So be on the lookout for that if you're curious what I got. So I almost forgot to share with you guys what I got at the farmer's market. I really wanted to pick up some, some beautiful flowers there, but um, the Phoenix one that we went to today is quite far from where I live, plus we were going to lunch, so I decided to pass on that for now, but it was so much fun, I definitely wanna go again. So I picked up some vegan options, or vegetarian and vegan options, that I'm really excited about. So first was the Queen Creek, or Queen Greek restaurant hummus. Oh my goodness, so excited to try this yummy, yummy hummus. And then she also had, I also picked up these falafel. She did have like taste testers of these and they were amazing. This is what's inside of them. Oh, they were so good. I plan to put these on salads. And then this is amazing as well, vegan ranch dip, but it's Italian style and it tastes amazing. Dairy free. She had some really yummy hummuses as well. Um, I don't even know. I'm, I don't even see a name on here of her company. Oh, here it is. Drhummus.com. Yeah, these are amazing. So I can't wait to have that. And then these I was the most excited about. So these are sauces that are dairy free, gluten free, and soy free. They are made from all natural ingredients and vegetables, and they are only 14 calories. Some of them are even less calories than that. So as you can see, this one has cilantro, apple cider vinegar, pimento, olive oil, green onion, garlic, spices, and sea salt, and it's only 14 calories. What? And look at all of that. Ugh! These are amazing. They taste so, so good. So I ended up getting the four sampler pack. They do come larger than this. So I got the zesty cilantro, um, peppery strawberry, habanero and carrot, jalapeno and green apple. And I think one of these is only two calories. So this one's 12 calories. So I plan to use these for salads To You can use these if you're not vegan or, or vegetarian or whatever. You can use these to... Um, marinate your meats and chickens and everything. You can use these for to cook your vegetables. You can put these in a lot of different things, but I'm mostly excited to use these for, see this one's only two calories. Um, I'm mostly excited to use these as dressings for my salad because I don't know if I mentioned here on my channel, but it's very, very hard to find vegan dressing options. I've been using vinegar and oil. And as you know, you guys, um, let me spin you around. Don't mind me, I've got my hair up on my head because I needed it out of my face. But I just wanted to say, um, there was like, I forget who exactly said it on my channel, but someone was like, be careful saying vegan because vegan really means that you are you know, completely cruelty free, you don't wear leather, you, you know, don't eat any animal products. I'm not saying that I'm vegan. Let's make that real clear. <laughs> I'm saying that I am incorporating um, that like a more plant-based diet into my life. And no, I'm not going cruelty-free with my makeup completely. Do I try and buy cruelty-free as much as possible? Yes, but there's no way I'm going cruelty-free with my makeup at this point. Um, do I have some like leather handbags that I still plan to use? Yes. So let's get past that. <laughs> Am I a pescatarian right now? 100% yes. Um, am I trying to go more plant-based and go more vegan? Yes. Um, it's, it's not only about feeling for the animals, but it's also about helping our environment. There's a lot of bad that goes along with eating meat um, when it comes to our environment as well. And I'm not gonna go into that, but I've watched some documentaries and I educated myself on a lot of things and that's why I'm wanting to go more plant-based. I'll start saying that as much as I can, but when products literally say, this is vegan on them, I'm going to say that and I'm gonna call it that. So I don't think anyone has a problem with that, but it was, it was mentioned that I might get some like backlash for saying that I'm vegan or calling something vegan. If I do, I do. At this point, whoever follows me knows who I am, knows what I'm doing. So just thought I should explain myself a little bit, but I'm really, really excited to try these new things. 
Hey guys, so I'm about to leave you here with the vlog this week, but I am about to go work out and I wanted to show you my new Ellie Box, um, what's it called? Gym wear, sports wear, whatever. So the sports bra is super, super cute. Um, I, I guess I will lift this up in a second. Um, here's the top, it says fit on it and it's really cute and like sheer. You can see it's like a see-through. So the sports bra is like white with black and then it has really cute mesh detail in the back. I'll, I'll take it off later to show you what it looks like in the back. I love because look at the bottoms. They are so cute and they're very like um, slimming and, and body hugging. Wouldn't they make your booty look good? So yeah, I really like them, they're so nice. So here is the really beautiful back of the sports bra. It was really hard to show you it on, so I figured I'd just take it off and show you. Super cute. If you guys are interested in this active wear monthly subscription service that I've been loving. These are all really good quality, by the way. And you get three pieces or you can get, I think, four pieces. Like an extra item, I will link it below for you guys.